Are you 12s? Today we're doing exercise 22C, non-linear graphs. It's really, really easy. Copy down the notes and then I'll explain. Alrighty, good job everyone. Okay, so pretty much um, sometimes we do graphs that are not linear graphs, so they're, um, they're not straight lines, they're curvy graphs. And these are real life graphs. And um, the trick is you just have to read carefully the question to understand what's going on and look at the, um, the values, that's speed and that's time and look at the units and stuff like that. Notice here this is in kilometres per hour, the speed, and this is time in seconds, so they're different units. So just be aware of that. Alright, so this first example, a car increases its speed given by this graph here. All right, so let's have a look. First thing you know is the speed, it's got a 50 and a 100. So you have to be smart enough to be able to work out um, all the other increments up to there. And also across here, the time, um, it's, uh, there's 10 and there's 20. And you can work that out, but it goes two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, and so on. All right, so just have a look. So when the time is zero, that's when the car first starts, what is the speed at that time? You can see the speed is zero. So the car is starting off stationary and it's accelerating and its speed is increasing exponentially. So it's going up really fast here and then it's increasing its speed but at a slower rate towards the end. And you notice it stops here, so the graph doesn't continue along there. So um, past this graph we have to sort of estimate or predict what, what the graph is going to do. We'll talk about that in a second. Alright, so the first question, what was the speed of the car after 2 seconds? So that's pretty straightforward, you look here, 2 seconds, as accurately as you can, you go up and across, and I'd say that's roughly 20 kilometres per hour. So I'm going to write it up here, it is 20 kilometres per hour. Now of course when you use a graph like this, and you're using a ruler, this is not completely accurate. So you have to try it as best you can, you've got to be as accurate as you can. And we'll allow, in a test or a SAT, we'll allow a range. So if that's 20 and the answer is really 22, that would probably be okay. Next one, after 11 seconds. So there's 10 and there's 12, so the trick there is 11 is halfway between that. So you go up with a ruler and across as accurately as you can. And I'm going to estimate that's 80 kilometres an hour. Excellent. So that's pretty straightforward so far. So we're just using a value, using the line going up and predicting what the other value will be, what the other variable will be. Next bit, after how many seconds did the car reach 50 kilometres an hour? So it's exactly the same but in reverse. So there's 50 kilometres an hour. We go across and down using a ruler and I'm going to say that's 5 seconds, after 5 seconds. 75 kilometres an hour. So there's 50, there's 100, so 75 pretty much halfway through. Halfway between the two, we go down, and let's just go with nine seconds. So it's a pretty simple process, really. Now the last one I want to talk about for a little bit, it says 100 kilometres an hour. So if you notice, here's 100 kilometres an hour. If we go across with our ruler, not very straight, I didn't do it, and what do you notice? That the graph stops there. We don't actually, according to the data values given, we don't actually reach 100 kilometres an hour. So we're going to have to use this graph to predict it. So I'm going to continue the graph on like that. And of course, when you predict values like that, it's called extrapolation. We'll talk about it in a minute. And it's not as accurate as using points within the data series. So there's our value. I'm just going to go down there. And the answer is about 22 seconds. So again, that is not as accurate as predicting within the data range. And the last couple of things. Interpolation is finding a value um, of a variable within the data range. So all these questions, other than the 100 kilometres, that's examples of interpolation because it's using values within the data set that's known. Extrapolation is finding a, a value outside the given or known data set. And that's exactly like this one here. 100 kilometres an hour, we have to predict what's happening. And the reason why this is not as accurate, or I said here, it's a less reliable predictor as we cannot be sure that the trend will continue into the future. So we don't know. It looks like the graph's going to go like that, but we don't actually know for sure what's happening with that car. Maybe it stops here. 
Maybe it, it takes off really fast. I don't, we don't know. But we're just making a prediction. So therefore, it's not as accurate or not as reliable as a predictor as um, within a data series. We've done that before in a statistics topic. And that is it for today. And I'll do another lesson very shortly. Bye.